Whenever I'm milling something on my CNC machine, wood dust is everywhere, so I designed and prototyped a dust shoe out of plywood. It wasn't great, so during the livestream I redesigned it, I added more magnets and adjusted some dimensions. But I decided that I prefer to actually, you know, have it like press fitted inside it without any additional screws. And here is my first prototype. It is already kind of working, but I can improve that and I already improved the design on live stream two days ago and today I am going to machine uh, this second version of the dust shoe. And also there will be something special at the end of this video, so wait for that. Second version was made out of 10mm plywood on indie mill with a 6mm straight cut milling bit. I really like the idea of upgrading a CNC with a CNC, so such a dust shoe is a perfect first project if you are just starting out. I painted the parts and with matte black finish it looks really really good and now it's time to put in place the magnets. Here I have the neodymium magnets 6mm tall, 6mm in the diameters. It should definitely work with 6 magnets without any problems because the connection between parts is quite strong, so that's cool. I also printed a part with PPE from Fibrology. This is a special type of filament that is kind of flexible. At the same time, it is extremely durable and perfect for such parts. And this is actually a hose adapter holder thing that will go in here in this part. And then there will be the hose connected, there will be the 500 watt spindle, and then the transparent skirt will connect right there. And actually, let's focus on this scarred sleeve transparent thing on the bottom. I used binding covers to make the transparent skirt. I cut the wool piece to 7cm and at the bottom with a knife I made some strips. This material is definitely not perfect for that, but it is easy to buy and definitely better than nothing. If you want to make it a little bit more professional, use transparent vinyl or something like that. Out of 15mm plywood, I made a simple holder that I also later painted black. I mounted it to the back of the table and attached a 3D printed adapter that was meant to connect CNC holes with a vacuum cleaner. And now the question is if I can leave the holes like this or should I kind of attach it to something? To keep the house in proper position and protect it, I quickly designed a plywood support that I cut on the laser. Thanks to that, machine can easily move and machine everything and hose is secured. So there is the whole setup. The magnetic dust shoe looks and works really nicely. I love magnetic stuff. This transparent thing may not be durable enough so I will probably replace it later with something else. The hose itself is obviously perfect because it's made for CNC machines. This adapter in the back, the plywood part that I cut, is also really nice because that way everything is really well organized. And here we have the plywood part painted matte black with an adapter, 3D printed adapter, and right here I will connect my vacuum cleaner. And here is my vacuum cleaner. I bought it like a month or two ago and I have been using it with the CNC machine manually cleaning while the CNC machine is working or my dad have been using it for like woodworking stuff for table saw and things like this. The good thing about this vacuum cleaner is that it has a really nice big hose that you can easily attach and there are a lot of adapters on the other side so we can connect it to a lot of different tools. Another very important thing that you have to keep in mind is that there is no back. 
there is actually just the filter and all the dirt is actually collected in this bin which is a really nice thing because you don't have to buy bags and you don't have to replace them you can just clean the bin I think that it will be strong enough for my CNC machine at the same time keep in mind that there are vacuum cleaners made especially for CNC machines way stronger way more suitable for this kind of work so this is definitely not the best choice at the same time it's kind of inexpensive so I decided to try it out so let's connect it Alright, so already that's progress. The workspace is clean, the indie mill is quite clean, my computer is clean, that's great, but definitely that skirt is not working as it should. So as for now, there are two solutions in my opinion. I can either buy a good material, but it will take a few days to ship the material to me because I can't buy something like this locally, or I can use the same material again, but cut shorter strips on the sides and that should hopefully help. So those strips are right now a little bit shorter and hopefully that will improve the stiffness of the material. I have prepared a small milling job, so let's start it. The second version with shorter strips was actually a lot better and it works fine. I will leave it as it is as for now because it works fine for me and maybe it will work fine for you. This material is definitely not perfect for such a use case. Transparent vinyl, some kind of rubbery but stiff rubbery material will probably work a lot better. Also, I made some more dust shoes and I want to give those away to some of you. In order to get one, just make sure that you like this video, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment down below and just tell me why I should choose you and send you the dust shoe. And that's pretty much it for this video. Don't forget to check out links in the description to the files, to my store. Don't forget to check out IndieMill if you want to build your own DIY CNC machine. Don't forget to check out Dremel CNC and everything else. Thank you very much for watching, happy making. Bye.